Well, this system is about um, five to ten years old. Um, at the time, it was around sixty thousand dollars. It's not uh, unusual, and if we were to upgrade, certainly we would have newer equipment, but it would be about the same. Sure. Well, when we do our reporting, uh, it comes up in a custom-built suite here, and you can play it back on the screen, you can do some simple editing and save, and it saves it to one of the hard drives down here. And there's not really a great way to get it off. You can bring in a USB drive and plug it in there. Sometimes we find it a bit challenging to locate the actual source video, and the codec that's used is proprietary, so we don't always have access to actually playing it. One of the problems we encountered is that if there's more than one person in a clinic, that room is often full and so patients are waiting and getting backed up. What we recently started doing is making this a second endoscopy sweep simply by bringing mobile equipment in. What we've done is hooked up our computer system to a, an Apple TV, and that's airplane over there, and we just brought a very small, inexpensive LED light source here, which is plugged into the wall, and you can bring in again your usual endoscope, uh, that we had in the other room. We've connected it to the ClearScope adapter and I've got my iPhone in it. Um, you might be able to see on the other screen. Carefully here. And I'm going to start taking a video. It's the one side that's a little less. There we go.